Extreme stress is so common among PhD students that a lot of people assume that it's an inevitable or even necessary part of the process. So you have to suffer in order to succeed. I don't believe that's true. I believe that a PhD can be an incredibly rewarding and enjoyable thing to do and that if you're experiencing extreme stress then it's a warning sign that something is going wrong somewhere in the process and you need to change something. This is difficult though because if you just assume that a PhD is supposed to be stressful then it's not your responsibility. But if you say it's not supposed to be this way and I need to change something then it becomes your responsibility to make those changes. So how do you go about it? I think there are three main elements. The first one, the foundation if you like, is just knowledge and understanding. So understanding how a PhD differs from everything that you've done before and what is required. So most people who do a PhD have done extremely well at every previous level of the education system. But when they get to PhD level, things change, things start to fall apart because the system works differently and it requires different skills. So you need to have a really, really, really clear understanding of what's required and what skills you need to develop. That leads us into the second element, which is the development of those new skills. So you need to structure your project and your work in a way that helps you to develop skills. So just working and working harder and harder and harder doesn't necessarily mean that you get better at what you're doing. There are specific principles of skill development that you need to apply in order to um, quickly develop the skills that you need. And if you do that, you can get really good at what you do, really good at the research and the writing, and then that helps to deal with any unexpected things and all of the stress that comes up. So the things reinforce each other. The final element is decisiveness. So when you start a PhD project, you might start with a fairly simple question, but then everything that you do starts to complicate the project. Every bit of work that you do creates more work. Everything that you read creates more references. Every experiment that you do or a bit of data that you gather or a bit of analysis that you do raises more questions and potential avenues for more research. So it's impossible to do all of those things. So you have to be very, very clear in your decisions about what you do and what you choose not to do also. And then you can work towards things um, to actual completion rather than just creating more and more and more unfinished work. And if you have those three elements, obviously there are a lot of extra details, but if you have those three elements, then the PhD can actually become quite a rewarding thing because you have the skills and the knowledge to actually complete the work that you start.